In 2022, BYD embarked on a big adventure. It stopped the sale of its fuel vehicle business and became the world's first traditional car company to fully transform itself into a new energy vehicle business. Accompanying this adventure is a good report card, the cumulative sales of its new energy models exceeds 2.3 million. In my opinion, BYD, a Chinese company that started out with batteries, has created a series of miracles from its deep technical reserves. So, how much potential does BYD have? What are BYD's most three advanced technologies? What supports BYD's development and growth? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Auto Age, now you are on the journey to look back at every change in the car, witness every surge in speed, and explore the mystery behind the car. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. In 2021, BYD's revenue has exceeded 216.1 billion yuan, and R&D investment was 10.62 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 24.2%. Among them, the R&D investment in the automotive sector is 5.14 billion yuan, accounting for 48.3% of the R&D. With a high investment in research and development, BYD's image is like a scientific man wearing a plaid shirt and unsmiling. To be precise, a technical man. This is obviously not an overnight achievement. BYD's accumulation on the new energy track belongs to the technological development type. Patents are the driving force behind the BYD brand. According to the list of the top 20 Chinese companies with new energy vehicle patents, BYD, which ranks first on the list, has 9,426 patents, which is higher than the sum of the second and third patents. In addition, across the four business sectors of batteries, electronics, automobiles and rail transportation, BYD has accumulated more than 21,000 granted patents. Moreover, the number of BYD R&D personnel ranks first among Chinese auto companies, close to the sum of the total employees of NIO, Xpeng, and Leading Ideal, the three major new energy automakers in China. Strong scientific research strength and think tank have become the source of living water for brand development, and it is also the gospel of the new energy market. BYD has become more open and nourishes the entire new energy track with its advanced technology. In the supply chain, BYD has split the battery business and supply to more OEMs, successively joint ventures with Mercedes-Benz and Toyota, breaking the previous market for technology development dilemma of Chinese car companies, which also means that the core technology of Chinese car companies is exported to the outside world. And its news of providing batteries for overseas brands has been confirmed one after another. At present, BYD's blueprint is becoming clearer and more complete, FinDream's power, FinDream's technology, FinDream's battery, FinDream's vision, FinDream's mold, etc., have spawned a large number of companies that electrify vehicles. By expressing patents and R&D personnel in a more visible form, BYD has built a technology fish pond in which the active genes of the BYD brand are constantly pulsating. How to tell the story of the technology fish pond? The story will start from BYD's road to breaking the game in 2021, product coverage from the DMI Super Hybrid and E-Platform respectively. Together with the first blade battery, they form a solid, golden triangle. The first big fish is the blade battery. It has many first-of-its-kind labels, such as the only power battery that can pass the acupuncture test, and a safety guarantee that completely erases battery spontaneous combustion from the history of new energy vehicles. It is an innovation in the safety and battery life of the new energy vehicle industry. BYD started to split the battery business in 2018, 
in 2020, the blade battery has achieved a significant increase in energy density, and the number of cycles of charging has reached 3,000 times, making it the only car company with the highest domestic sales and the only car company in the world that can build all three systems. The second big fish is the Pure Electric ePlatform 3.0 which is also the most critical layout for BYD to shift from electrification in the first half to intelligence in the second half. After 18 years of iteration, the platformization of the vehicle architecture has given more convenience to the brand transformation and is regarded as the cradle of the next generation of electric vehicles. The third big fish is the DMI Super Hybrid. The fuel consumption per 100 kilometers is as low as 3.8 liters, which gives an excellent template for the transformation and development of fuel vehicles. Models equipped with DMI can achieve lower fuel consumption, better usage scenarios, and higher cost performance than Toyota THS hybrids. At the same time, the most appropriate trade-off is made between pure electric range, loss of fuel consumption and price. Over the past 14 years, BYD DM technology has been continuously updated iteratively, and now it has launched the DMP, which focuses on superpower, which can meet the balance between performance and fuel consumption. Well, these three big fish are just the epitome of the technical fish pond. BYD has more lively and wildly growing technologies, such as self-developed New D-Link and D-Pilot, IGBT 4.0, CTB, SIC, ITC, etc. In 1886, the first car with an internal combustion engine was born in Germany. In 2035, the EU will completely ban the sale of internal combustion engine cars. No matter how much gasoline belief and adrenaline enthusiasm are left, the era has already written the whole story for the development of gasoline vehicles. Actively pressing the pause button in the afterglow of the fuel vehicle life cycle, BYD is the first of the traditional car companies. Although it is somewhat risky, BYD's decision is more about considering the situation, with the development of the new four modernizations of automobiles, traditional fuel vehicles have gradually been unable to meet the needs of current users, for example, the shortage of fossil fuels and rising oil prices have caused many people, can afford a car, but can't afford to drive it, for another example, around the national, dual carbon, strategic goal, car companies must also make timely changes. Obviously, BYD understands its advantages better. After the whole vehicle production of fuel vehicles has been stopped since March, it has put all its strength on the new energy track, covering pure electric and plug-in hybrids, including Qin, Han, Song, Tang, Dolphin and other models, and the sales volume showed a surge trend. In the future, all of BYD's strength will focus on building a more efficient production chain and providing users with a better product experience, at the same time, it will become a more professional new energy brand. In 2008, BYD launched the world's first mass-produced plug-in hybrid model. Since 2013, BYD has begun to take the top spot on the new energy track. In 2022, BYD has become a new energy company surpassing Tesla. Looking through BYD's brand development history, every step is steadying upward, but it has created the most legends. Back to the original question, how much potential does BYD have? Buffett started betting on 225 million shares of BYD in 2008, and the prospect of this company is unpredictable. Its vitality is closely related to the development of technology, and it is also in line with the spirit of the brand. This is the characteristic road of BYD. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support.
Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.